Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some lesser evil mini cookies. I have the Snickerdoodle. I have the gingerbread cheesecake. Listen to this price. $6. $5.99. $5.99 at Whole Foods. Uh, there are 18, 3 times 6 is 18, 3 cookies, 21 grams is 110 calories. Um, so that's uh, how many you get uh, for, for $5.99. We believe less is more when you combine fewer, better ingredients, no grain, less sugar, and better fats, you let food shine. These cookies are about filling the difference that simple, nutritious ingredients make. Life is jammed with choices, enough that we forget life is a journey we are all taking together. We crave flavor, we hunger for connection. We need balance. That's why Lesser Evil makes snacks and now cookies. Sinfully tasty cookies made from clean, sustainable ingredients. And just like our salty snacks, we control every ingredient, recipe, plus process. It's a lot of work, but it's not just food. It's who you are. When wellness guides your spirit, you are your own guru. Um, it is lesserevil.com. Uh, these are made in Connecticut. Um, Grain-free, simple ingredients, low sugar, keto. That's interesting. Uh, okay, here we go. So this is Snickerdoodle. The texture is horrible. The texture is terrible. I ate the whole thing. Um, yeah, keto, I didn't even notice it says on the front they're keto certified. That texture is your typical, that keto, I had forgotten that texture. It's what you it's always like, said is fibrous. Yeah, it's like torn up paper towel or something. It is, it really is. It comes through in these. Oh, that's awful. I did not realize when I bought them they were keto. It's nice to try. Uh, hey, we like to try everything. All right. The flavor itself, the, the cinnamon flavor, isn't horrible. No. It's not great, but it's not horrible. But that texture, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I'll eat half of this one. They're, that's what I did. They're not particularly sweet. No. And the flavor of the snickerdoodle, it's not the flavor itself is a vibe, but what you're left over with is all right. cinnamon powder, don't you think? Yeah. Yes. Like I have cinnamon powder all up in like my senses. Um, I feel like I've chewed up a paper towel, literally, like I'm a piece of paper. Yeah, I just didn't even realize that. Um, so this is gingerbread cheesecake. Three cookies are 110. Ah, oh, thank you. Um, it's denser. I don't even want to finish chewing it. The flavor is awful. Um, the flavor or the texture? The flavor is, well, the texture is bad, period. The flavor is like a, um, it's very earthy flavor and very sour. I'm assuming that's the cheesecake -y, but the cheesecake flavor. I'm getting a, uh, just the ginger, a strong ginger. You're not getting a sour? No. Yeah. No, but I believe you too. because they're, uh, I just I'm getting ginger, ginger too, and it's not a great ginger, I mean... Um, out of the two, I would actually choose these not me. and not you. I know I would actually choose the, the gingerbread cheesecake because I didn't get the sourness that Kevin got. Um, That's but awful. I'm sure it was supposed to be like cheesecake. I mm -hmm. just didn't get it. I just got ginger. Um, but the, the texture of these is especially the snickerdoodle. Oh, I think they're both the same. Now, the gingerbread were out on an end cap at Whole Foods because they had like all their holiday stuff. And I told Kevin, I said, oh, I'm buying these cookies. I said, let's go back down the cookie aisle and see if they have some other ones that we haven't tried yet and we can put it together. Because I always like to, you know, you're clicking on the video. So I try to give you more than one thing if I can. And uh, so they had the, they also had other ones. I don't remember what they had. But I thought the snickerdoodle sounded closer to a Christmassy type, you know, because it's cinnamon. And that's why we bought these. But the... Uh, the uh, gingerbread are actually, even though they have the same texture, they're much denser. They are denser, but they still break up to that loose, fibery kind of 
Mm-hmm. It's like I'm eating kinetic sand or something. I mean, it's just, it's It's weird. very it's, different. And if you do keto, maybe you're used to that. If I ha- if I were doing keto and that's the kind of food I have to eat, I wouldn't be doing keto. <laughs> say, switch. Yeah, I'd yeah. be doing some other diet. Right. Um, yeah, because that's just. Yeah, uh, these just aren't for us. Horrible. Neither one of them. If, if I had to eat one over and over, I would eat the gingerbread. But I would just choose not to buy these yeah, at all. I would Uh, So if you are on keto though, if this is your lifestyle and you have tried these cookies, leave a comment uh, please and let people know what you think of them because as someone who does have a keto lifestyle, you're eating desserts like this all the time, then you know whether, hey, this is a great texture for you on keto or no, this really isn't the keto cookie you're looking for. Maybe you can recommend a, a different one that you like more. Yeah, because we've never hit one that we liked. If these, <laughs> yeah, if these aren't your, your thing, then let people know what which ones you really like. That would be appreciated. So I'll have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.